Ah, Link's Adventure, the one we don't talk about. Frequently at the bottom of the list for many a Zelda fan, it's perhaps a little unfairly derided. It's renowned for being super difficult to play or even to fathom. But whilst this is certainly true, what Zelda 2 lacks in gameplay, it more than makes up for in ingenuity. It's perhaps the most stark departure from its predecessor, changing from a top-down to a side-scrolling adventure, introducing spells, experience points and many other components that we take for granted now, such as exploring villages. Link's Adventure does suffer from the same incomprehensibility of the first game, but unfortunately it lacks some of the charm of that first game to balance that out. The way you run into enemies on the overworld that you are then taken to a separate fight screen gets super annoying really quickly. And there's definitely a lot of fighting to be done as the action is dialed up and for the most part the puzzles are dialed down. I admit I cheated somewhat in playing the Switch Online version where you're gifted all the magic spells and the strongest sword at the beginning of the game, and I doubt I would have made it past the first dungeon without this, as this is easily one of the most brutal of all Zeldas. This isn't helped by the hair-pullingly frustrating fact that it's back to the very beginning again and again after each game over, so you have to keep traversing the world over from the start, and if you're not a patient gamer you will be forgiven for rage quitting. But then you've got to admire how much they tried to push the format with a completely different second game, and there's a lot to love about this most unloved of games. <laughs> 